Hello, hello, hello. Thanks for stopping by. Can I offer you a drink? <laughs> oh my god. I don't know who I'm channeling, but I'm not normally... Maybe I am normally like that and I just don't realize it. A little vodka and um, copy liqueur. Delicious. It's a little aperitif. I still have work to do. It is... I don't even know what time it is. It is uh, according to my little clock. Driftwood from the Oregon beach. It's 10 to nine. And yes, I'm in a very weird mood. I'm wearing my apron to cook, but I'm not cooking. Um, sometimes I just wear it as a bib because I'm kind of a slob. Um, yeah. I cooked those, uh, was it last night that I cooked? I, ta I talked about cooking the buns. I made the buns, they was good. I added four times as much salt as I was supposed to though. <laughs> because I thought I memorized the recipe, whoops. Uh, <laughs> and um, actually they held up to, to the, to, I, I modified things at the last minute. I did not make four times as many um, rolls as I needed just to accommodate this, the salt overload. But they came out great. Um, um, it's a recipe I got on YouTube and you actually bake them in a pan and they're like little English muffins. So they're killer, killer, absolutely delicious. Um, no yeast involved. And um, I'm defi definitely gonna experiment with the recipe and do, do some more. Um, I'm all about mm. that like like the beauty of it was I decided I wanted to have a garden burger for dinner last night and I made um, my my pan fries that I make that are like, they're like the Chinese pan fries um, and you throw them in water for 10 minutes before you fry them. Cold water, refrigerate them if you want. Um, and that really sets up the starch so that when you fry them, they're, they're, they have some body. Um, they're not you know, if you're pan frying them, they're not necessarily going to get crispy on the outside like they do when you deep fry them, but um, sometimes they do. Some of them do, um, but they but they definitely have like they hold up. They don't just turn to mush. Whereas if you just cut up your potatoes and throw them in the pan in olive oil right away, they will eventually turn to mush, and so you get you know and that's where you get home fries, and that's why they're not as satisfying as French fries, um, and I could eat French fries for every every course of every meal of every day. Um, when I lived in London, um, this is a true story and I don't, don't often get to tell this one. When I lived in London, I was all but squatting and um, at a certain point was completely flat busted broke and um, lived around the corner from a chippy. Thank God I love fries the way I do because um, People walked out of the chippy and the fries come wrapped in news, newsprint um, and um, they would just take, you know, you got your, your chicken or your fish and then the fries are wrapped in a separate little bundle and they would just take them and dump them in the garbage outside the chippy. So you walk by and there's this like limitless bucket of fresh french fries i mean i don't know if it's that way now this is a long time ago um so yeah i went through and the, the trick was if you didn't want to humiliate yourself the chippy was right right at a bus stop what a perfect location for a, for a fish and chips shop right so what you did was was everyone was buying their fish and chips to get on the bus and you just stood there and waited for the next bus to come and for everybody to get on the bus. And then there was no one around. And you just clean out the trash can without any humiliation. I'll be honest, at a certain point, I didn't freaking care. And I just walked by and I just, because they're so perfectly wrapped, there's, there was nothing else in that bin. It was just completely sanitary. You just like, poof, 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 poof. and, um, I made French fry tacos, French fry grilled sandwiches. If I dig in my memory, I can probably come up with a couple of other things that I ate. 
that were French fry modification, you know, some modification of a, another dish that that were French fry involved. But um, yeah, my days in London, those were good times. Hung out with Lee Bowery, met Boy George. <laughs> I know it's ridiculous, and the more I, yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Ay, 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 ay. How did I end up where I am now?
if I were to give that a title, I would call that men pretending to know he knows how to play the piano. <laughs> I know where the white keys are. <laughs> um, oh yeah, I still have work to do. And I have a drink to drink. And, um, and lordy lordy, it's only Tuesday. As if the days of the week had any meaning at this point. Um, I sure hope you enjoyed that reading this morning, by the way. I am going to log off in a second but um it that that's kind of like 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 my ultimate or penultimate reading um the significance of the cards and the way they interplayed together um i think i commented on facebook that i could write a class on that reading um and i really could the layers of it i just it was really astounding um certainly feeling the energy of woohoo don't know why there was just some shift something 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 some. okay <laughs> i think i'm done <laughs> i could keep the, the camera rolling and see what happens but i don't know if any of us would like that okay <laughs> tomorrow morning bye